Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying a a uh, wide assortment of items from Georgian. Thank you very much, Georgian, for sending us these. These are the Archway Cookies, the Pfeffernoose variety. These are Barton's Almond Kisses. And I have the Long Grove. These are the Milk Chocolate Pumpkin Myrtles with, the, with pecans. So, the um, Archway uh, Cookies Pfeffernoose. I have never seen this variety. And honestly, from looking at them, they look like wedding cookies on the outside. That's what we call them as wedding cookies. But the difference is I've looked at all the ingredients because we reviewed the wedding cookies. And the difference is wedding cookies have nuts. The pfeffernoose do not have any nuts listed in the ingredients. So they are two cookies are 100 calories. Ooh. Definitely not a wedding cookie. Wedding no. cookies are crunchy, mm -hmm. crunchy cookies with powder sugar on them. These are like cheese. Oh, that tastes like licorice. Mm -hmm. Very strong licorice. Uh huh. That tastes like black licorice. But see, I love black licorice. Yeah, not my kind of thing. So I like that. Oh, that's strong. It's very, but that is, <laughs> if you. If you like licorice, go for it. If you like black <laughs> jelly beans. Well, I'm not, it depends on the licorice. Um, black jelly bean flavor, that's what I'm talking about. If you like a black jelly bean, that's what that tastes like in a cookie. It's a chewy cookie. I think that's more licorice than a black jelly bean. Because it Do has you? that funkiness afterwards. Like we've eaten that uh, stuff from Sweden. Yeah, but that's, that was really salty. No, I'm not talking about the salted stuff. I'm just uh, talking about the, like the, the rolls. Right. That's really, really strong. Mm -hmm. This is more of a licorice flavor to me than that. I what is like that? Anise and ice? Anise. Anise, yeah. Yeah, I like that. Uh, that was quite a bit because if you like I that like licorice, that. Yeah, you love them. But yeah, completely different from wedding cookies. I need not have looked at the ingredients. No, completely different. Uh, yes. Uh, that would be one of those cookies I'd put on. Ooh, these look good at a party and take one bite and go, ugh. You know what? It's like marzipan. Some people like it, some people don't. Yeah. Anise, some people like it, some people don't. That's okay. This, uh, the Barton's Almond Kisses, they had a uh, uh, like tape on the outside. I just took the tape off right before the video because I wanted to make it easier. Oh, but I hadn't opened it. These are, hmm. I, ex I, I thought they would have like one big bag in here oh. and have them in there. No, these are all. Maybe they stick together really bad. Yeah, they must for them to do this. Okay, so Barton's Almond Kisses. I should say, these almost feel like a dates or something. This, they're ma manufactured by Barton's in Allentown, Pennsylvania. Hmm. It says, um, a New York legend. Since 1983, savvy New Yorkers had shared a delicious secret. The smoothest, creamiest, chewiest caramel could be found only in New York and only in Barton's Almond Kisses. And as if having the best caramel wasn't enough, Barton's went and added whole toasted almonds. Go figure. But then wouldn't you know it, some guy from Brooklyn just had a brag. Now everywhere you go, someone is chewing on Barton's Almond Kisses, even in New Jersey. <laughs> Um, so these are smooth and creamy chocolate caramels. It says three pieces are 140 calories. So this one. Yeah, you can have that or you can have a whole one if you want. Mmm. It's soft. It's very, very soft. I like the texture. I don't like the flavor. It's, um, it's kind of like a burnt caramel flavor. It's very, very dark caramel flavor. And it, and it doesn't have a lot of sweetness to it, to be honest with you. I, like, I love the texture, but, but I, I like a sweeter caramel. But that's just my personal preference is I like a sweeter caramel. Yeah, that is different from any caramel I've ever mm -hmm. had. Ever. It's very overcooked caramel. Yes, they have cooked it to an inch of its life and, and, and then smoothed it out mm -hmm. and cut it. It, I, I don't think I've ever had caramel that's been cooked for that length of time. Yeah, it's a dark um, I mean, we should talk about burnt caramel, burnt sugar kind of flavor. This yeah, is beyond the, that. Yes, <laughs> yes. Almost where it comes, it comes almost across as a licorice kind of flavor a little bit. It is, um, 
some people would would try this and say oh that tastes burnt they, i mean it just that's why it goes earth now do i like it yes i like it no. but it's very very different than anything i've ever had before mm -hmm. because i've never had caramel that's been cooked that long i didn't, honestly if I was making this at home and it had got to this point, I would think, oh, it's ruined and yeah, thrown ruined away. Yeah. I would have never thought to eat it. But I, I like it. It's I, just I, a different type of caramel. You just can't compare it to, it's not sweet, it's not, it's sweet, but it's not near as no. sweet. Like I said, I, I just personal preference, I like sweeter caramel. So, right. Um, and if they added some salt to it or something, maybe it'd be better. And I didn't get chocolate flavor. It just tasted like burnt sugar. It tastes like, yeah, just like burnt sugar. Okay. It's not my thing. Do you want to, you might need this. Yeah, because it's, it's plastic. Uh, these are Long Grove Confectionery Company Milk Chocolate Pumpkin Myrtles with Pecans. This is a six ounce box. Thank Delectable you. Pumpkin Caramel Myrtles with Roasted and Salted Pecans mm. Enrobed in Luscious Milk Chocolate. One piece, 28 grams, is 140 calories. And these are made in Buffalo Grove, Illinois. It's www.longgrove.com, and they are handcrafted chocolates. Oh, they're big. You get six of them. I love the texture. It's like a softer turtle. Mm -hmm. The pumpkin spice is pretty strong, though. Mm hmm And it develops the more you chew. Mm -hmm. It's pretty strong. Mm hmm I think I'd probably like the regular Myrtles better than the pumpkin, but I think these are good, but you'd have to try them yourself. My favorite thing about it is the texture. Yeah, the texture. The wonderful. texture is tr absolutely terrific. Mm -hmm. I think that for me, I agree. I, I can't really add any more to what Kevin said because I agree with you. I think if I had had the traditional, just the myrtles with the pecans, I would absolutely love them. Yeah, because we love a turtle, which is... But the, because these are pumpkin, it's it's not just pumpkin. It's pumpkin spice. Yeah, pumpkin and, I would have liked. Yeah, if it was just pumpkin. But this is pumpkin spice and the spice part is heavy yeah, like they, heavy, heavy. they wanted you to know that these aren't their regular ones these are pumpkin mm -hmm. spice and so it's like raw spice yeah and if you like that kind of flavor then you'll love them if you it's, like, it's like a lot of raw spice right. flavor because it overpowers the sweetness mm -hmm. that you would i'm sure normally have from the caramel and the chocolate mm -hmm. yeah yeah yeah, because I can tell these are excellent quality. Oh, yeah. Uh, nice craftsmanship went into those, making those. But I would not get these again because I, that spice is so heavy. Mm -hmm. It's pretty strong. Uh, so, I don't know that you liked anything here that we tried. <laughs> the, the caramels weren't bad. They just come across. These I wouldn't eat because the spice is too strong. That's licorice. I can't. Kevin buy. wouldn't choose any of these. I wouldn't go out into the store and buy any of them. If I had to pick one though, it'd be the caramels. If you were, these were the last three things on. Yeah, caramels. I would eat the caramels okay. from New York. Um, just because they do have a nice texture. They're good caramel um, flavor. They just taste like a burnt caramel. So mm -hmm. They're a little, little dark burnt for me. Um, and I'm going to agree. Um, I, I, I like the Pfeffernose, but for an everyday sweet treat that I'm not going to get tired of, I'm going to pick the Almond Kisses too yeah. because I do like that caramel. And I think once you got used to eating these. Yeah, it wouldn't be that bad. It, yeah, and you going from these to regular back to the, your traditional caramel, you'd be like, gosh, that's super, mm -hmm. super sweet. Uh, so definitely these would be my choice. I mean, these too. caramels are the color of dates. I mean, that's how dark it is. It's, yeah, it's some dark stuff. I'm telling you. It, so and it's uh, supposed to be chocolate. Like I said, I really didn't get chocolate. If you before. haven't had these before, I think it would be interesting for other people to try them, just to say, yeah, they really are that different. It's it's a different experience. Uh, so thank you very much, Georgia Ann, for introducing us to three different things. I think this was a lot of fun mm -hmm. for us to try. Yeah, yeah, it was interesting. So I hope you enjoyed the video. 
and thanks for watching.